This part is. These drivers certainly know their way around a steering wheel. Speedway racers of all ages came together on Saturday to continue the traditional Riverboat Days race event at Terra Speedway. This was all started by a couple of people in like the early 70s and they, you know, put their elbows to the grindstone and, you know, they, uh, they made all this happen and here we are today. According to Parrish, the Terrace community is quite passionate about their vehicles, taking them out to the racetrack whenever they can. Being a long-standing tradition, the event has seen generations of families participate. Their parents drove here. Um, it's a, kind of a family tradition, you might say, right? And for two young racers, it certainly was a family affair. Oh, I've been to the racetrack over the years for probably, I don't know, 15 years since the kids were born, but this is actually their first year racing themselves. So Mason and Rocco, they'll be both racing head to head today. It's pretty exciting. Terrace attracts people from all around the Northwest to take part in drag racing. Terrace is a great, great community when it comes to uh, the stock car track or or the uh, drag race association at the airport. And we used to have some mud, mud racing out here too. So I, I hear that we're gonna be bringing that back. Local resident Alvin Eichhorst says Riverboat Days has always been something he holds close to his heart. Riverboat Days is pretty important to me. I was uh, actually in town this morning running some errands. And it's wonderful to see the parade going on and all the people around. Families gathered at the track for hours, soaking in the roar of the mufflers and the smell of burning rubber. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Hannah Schmidt in Terrace.